All right, in this example, we're going to simulate the random selection of 20 people and then find an experimental probability that at least two of them have the same birth date. So the way we're going to simulate the selection of those 20 people is that our collection is going to be the numbers 1 through 365, and then we're going to randomly choose 20 of those. So we're going to get those numbers 1 through 365 by going to Excel and having it um, fill in 365 numbers. So we highlight those three and then drag it down to the number 365. I'm going to copy that, go back to Fathom, and paste it. Then I'm going to rename it birthday. Oops. Okay, so this is my collection, and I'm going to sample 20 cases from that collection. That will, that will represent cho cho randomly choosing 20 people. So I go to this collection, sample cases. I'm going to do with replacement this time because just because I've chosen somebody with a particular birthday doesn't mean I can't then find that same birthday again. So that's with replacement. And I'm going to have 20 cases because that means 20 people. Sample more cases and bring down the table. So these are the birth dates of the 20 people that I randomly selected and what I need to do is figure out if at least two of them are the same. I'm going to do this experimental probability with say just um, 20 cases. So to do that I'm going to bring down another table oops, don't want that. I'm going to bring down another table and I'm going to record yes or no. So yes means there were two people with the same birthday. No means there, there, no two people had the same birthday. Okay, so the way I'm going to um, do that, I don't want to sort through this and look for a matching pair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down a graph and make a bar graph of this data. So since these are numbers, before I drop it, okay, before I let go, I need to press Shift to force it to be categorical data. Okay, so here I see that none of them have the same birthday, so I'm going to type no. And I'm going to keep doing this over and over again. Okay, no. That's a yes. Okay, I'm going to keep doing this 20 um, through 20 uh, trials. Okay, now that I have my data, I'm ready to determine the proportion of these that are a Y. Okay, again, a Y means that yes, two people, at least two people had the same birthday. So I bring down a summary, drag down yes or no, and what I want is a proportion. The proportion of the time that that variable was a Y. Okay, so my experimental probability here, the probability that if 20 people are randomly selected, at le least two of them have the same birth date, is 0.45. Here I used only 20 cases. Um, okay, so you know that because of the law of large numbers, if we want our uh, experimental probability to be close to the theoretical probability, we have to use a lot more than 20 cases. Okay, but this is a bit cumbersome, so I'm fine with stopping at 20.